all no. his, all he's, he's been, been all, but that, those are wrong statements. All he's Let been, he all he's been telling the delegates of the, all he's been telling the delegates of the MPP is down, that okay. Christians and Muslims are at war, and that he is going to bring unity among them. Dr. Bamia, in the past thirty years I that we've that done, true. oh, stop this. The past 30 years that we've done this now, how can you be saying this? Constitution. Christians and Muslims have lived peacefully without trouble. In yes, fact, siblings who are have, Christians. Oh, we have, we have the really benefit. disruptive this morning. We have no, the because benefit. you allow him to say this. Why are you allowing him to say that? We have, we have, we have, we to say that we have the benefit. Dr. Mahmoud has never we said anywhere that Christians and Muslims are at war. He has siblings who are Christians. So how would you say that he is? The national chief imam going to a Catholic church. This is phenomenal. It is not happening because of Bahamia. And so when he goes to the MPP delegates and tell them that they need to vote for him to bring unity and harmony among Christians and Muslims, completely far-fetched. And that is how Bamiya has weaponized religion, even within the MPP internal context. And for me, it's a huge warning, red flag to all of us. Two, when you look at this contest, I've heard Bamiya, and, and usually when he goes on the campaign trail, he'll say, oh, my father is so-so and so. Yes, lawyer, so-so and so. One time CEO of Cocoa Board. One time chairman of Council of State. But you know what? I grew up doing many jobs, doing ABCD. I don't know why he's communicating, but he tells this to the delegates. Now he goes on to say, yes, you know what? My dad... Bamiya had 17 children. Mm -hmm. Oh, nine are Christian. So, so, and so. How relevant is that conversation? And that is why I'm saying that. You can see a deliberate weaponization of religion, even within the MPP internal context. How is he doing that? And, and you know what? He goes there and tells, you know what? I am the one coming to bring unity Bakusu. and harmony between MPP. You've been so unruly. You've been so unruly. It's and it's untidy you know, this morning. You know, you know, you know. It's untidy. No, I kept quiet. You know, like I was making notes. No, but you are making Look, points. You are making, making points that are you total. I mean, I was making how can, notes. How can, you, how can you be I mean, saying this? What is like this? Like ah. It's so untidy. Please. Look, when Please you come ahead. here, we you say things that will bring national cohesion. We don't say things that will divide. And that but that what he's saying are lies. And what, you are refusing to stop said? him. What that Dr. Mahmoud Bemez is using religion as a tool. Oh, so so I bring this harmony. And that is not true. So I, that is not true. So I, you should you should tell him so that I, it is not true. What is not true? I asked him, how is he doing that? That's a question. And he has not answered that. You have allowed him to go. I gave you the specific example. You have not allowed him to go. I have being very disruptive to be I am not. I am not being disruptive. I am not being disruptive. I am not being disruptive. You have not being disruptive. He he won't won't I am not being disruptive. And destroy the program by less uh, demonstrate emotional intelligence to defeat him. <laughs> you see, if you pick the candidature of Bahamian, and I've always maintained that this candidature is a third term for Akufuado. And that is why, in the words of Professor Frimpong Wati, the Minister of Finance had promised that whatever financial resources required. For what? By Dr. Bamiya. He said it on your own hot, uh, hot issues, your own station, that the finance minister had given the assurance that all the money required by Bamiya to win this poll will be made available. That statement was made on TV3, just for the record.